Hetty, je mag jezelf voorstellen. Ik ben Hetty en ik wil graag mijn haar weer een goed model laten knippen door Theo. Ja. En Hetty, wil je een klein rondje draaien? Wil je turn around so that people can see how your hair is now? Yes. Because normally you're a customer of mine. Yes. And you have your natural color with on the ends a little bit bleach from the pattern that you already had. Yes. Okay, let's make it a wonderful hairstyle. Hello friends on YouTube, I can do Hattie's hair and uh, this is the first time she is uh, on YouTube and modeling for me. So I start as always with protection, give her a nice gold cape. And start with wetting the hair. Comb the water through the hair. And now start with applying a silk toner and a conditioner and styling. Because I want to leave it working in and to get rid of the and they have a little bit of yellow tone because she was for about uh, five months ago flat and blonde. And this is a natural color. So to reduce the yellow tones in the ends, I apply this product. It's a product of uh, David Gray. And you have to shake it before you use it. Lay the hair in the way I want it to be. So the style I'm going to produce. This is my shortest part in the hairstyle, so I start at that point. Use a point cut technique. And my scissor is of Kiona, it's a five cobalt. Nemen mensen het ook van je over? Ja. Gelukkig wel. Hm. Dat moet ik niet te doen. Heb je ook nog geen mensen die erop reageren van kan die jouw les komen? Jawel, hm. ook dat wel. Hm. Ja, ik denk dat nou het uitgroeien heel aan het uit is, sommige dingen. Ja, 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 je bent daar gewoon alles kwijt. Ja. Watch it fall. Go to the front. Lift it up. Take it over to the line of cutting. And connect both lines to each other. Goed met haar hart, hè? Ja, enorm. Het is about every five weeks a customer of mine. The hair grows ultra fast. Maar je hebt ook hele leuke filmpjes. Ja, absoluut wel. Ja. Go stand the side of her. Working on the fringe. Every time lifting the hairs over the first line. Make a nice short frame on the front. Ik vertelde het hè? Ja. Yeah. Zeg ze dat tegen mij, maar als je nou op YouTube komt en je krijgt centen ervoor, kun je mij dan ook wat geven. Oh ja, ja, ja. Ik zeg maar, dan krijg je ook maar geen centen ervoor. Nee, dat zou wel zijn. Ik wil er al bij. 
With my largest uh, Kiona scissor, it's a seven. I give some slice techniques at the front because that's the thickest part of her hair. Just make some play with lines in it. Go in the opposite lines, creating the length. And leaving the length on the left side a little bit longer than on the right side. Just then on the other side, traveling in slice techniques by the front of the fringe. Now my front part is ready, so you can concentrate on the line. Too bad. First I start with the slice technique. This is an ultra fine slice technique. The straight of my scissor is standing up, that's the finer the lines of slicing are. The flatter it becomes a thicker line. But I create the front only by slicing. Stabilize my scissor with my hand, so I'll do it in slow motion, so I lay my fingers under my scissor and just gently go in the line of the haircut and create some movement in it, traveling to the top, create the length on the front because it must be a soft line, come it once again. Travel once over the same line, and now I've got myself a nice soft baseline on top of the contour. Going to the back, going to the area behind the ear. This I do a little bit later. Lay the hair in natural fall, lift them up, and set out the first lines. By lifting up in the same line as the eyebrow line, I get always a better flow to the back. Now go step on the other side. In the line of cutting, I go to the upper hair and also connecting that in the point cut technique to the under hairs, and they are just cut in a straight line. But still bending in the natural shapes. Heerlijk rustig, hè? Oh ja, heerlijk. Is hij goed kunnen slapen? Ja. Ga je toekomst ook doen? <laughs> My connection on top. I need to get a rounding on the skull. Go back, get into the same lines. And travel to the center of the skull. Now it's so lucky that you can see how it is happened. Eh? Mm -hmm. Because that's always very grappig. Now you can see already the running of her hairstyle. So I just make minor adjustments because I was standing on site so I couldn't see it properly like you can. In the center of the longer hair, I connect it in a point cut technique. Slice cutting to the running of the skull. So get a better flow and a nicer line.
where my fingers are not thin enough to get a hold on the hair on the length I want. I mo mostly do the scissor of comb technique. So I can connect it much easier without hurting my fingers. The line about two and a half, three centimeters from the contour, I do scissor over comb technique. Getting over the rounding, lift the hairs up in the opposite way. First part in the point cut technique, connecting it to the upper hair, working in the roundings of the skull. Always is the skull the best guide to use. Again, work in the point cut technique. I must be aware that she has a crown. Her crown is laying here a little bit open, you can see that. This is a natural shape. And it's winter time, so then you can see them much easier. So I have to leave a little bit more length to can close the hairstyle afterwards. Over the center line, I use a cross technique just to make sure that I have every length on the same length. Lift them over from the left to the right and the right to the left. And that I only do on the center line of the skull. Travel from above, down and back again. Then I have used the skull bone as a guide. I have a nice flowing line to the, bit, the under lines. This part will be shorter connecting to the upper line. Coming to a right side. Now you see the natural lines are traveling to the back. So I worked still here. So now I watch over the sides of her skull in this line, knowing that her natural shapes are the roundings of her skull, I can see them from the side. So I use them into this line to get a more natural flow of the hair. Started on the part where I left it a little bit longer because there was a crown. Die kant zat bij de oren ook heel erg dik. Ja, is dat al bevallen? Ja. Ze stellen me dat normaal haar haar had. De parts above haar ears are mostly a little bit more thick than the other side. Dat is normaal, because on a human skull, always one part, one side is always thicker than the other. You always have a best side on everything. And the wonderful thing is that beauty lays in the between of them. Stay working in the same roundings. I want to get above the ear. The rounding is a little bit faster than on the part above the lines of the center of the skull. So I take the hairs there over, lift them a little bit to the back, and cut them.
laying the hairs to the front, get in with my largest Kiona scissor. First slice to the front and then lay it back. Travel only on the line of cutting. Lay the hairs to the front, make a nice soft facial line. Now I can't support my scissor, but I don't need to because it's leaning on my hand. Watch at the roundings, go to the line of the center, go back from the other line and bring in a slice technique. Now to lift it up on this side a bit, I give it some deep slice techniques. Not much, just a little bit. So the standing hairs will support the longer hairs on top. So it's much easier for her to give it the volume. The scissor I'm using now is this Kiona scissor. This part is just wonderful for people who want to wear the scissor like this because it's turning very easy by the way the handles are. So you can turn it very easy around. I don't like to wear it this way because I like to get into the shortest way, so my thumb in and out. But if you like to wear it like this, it's a wonderful system because it makes it very easy to turn your scissor around. What I told you is uh, when I come to the part where I can lift it up with my fingers, I lift it up with my scissor. Now I'm using my Cobalt 6 of Kiona. This tool I love very much because it's ultra stable in your hands. It's for those who love to cut, really love to cut. Doesn't matter if it's thick or not. It's a scissor that travels through the hair like uh, a hot knife in the bottle. Go in the opposite lines, connect the lines to each other. Set in the contour line. Going behind the ear. To be sure I have the lengths all the same, I take the fine part of my comb and travel once over the same line. The fine part of the comb is always taking up easier hair, but not when it's thick. I like that it can play in your comb also, so you get into the movement of the hair. So now I have a wonderful side. Take the ear down so the hairs that are laying on top and standing the other way come out. So I have a nice frame around the ear. Go behind the ear. You see the line of cutting laying. Lift the hairs up, pulling a bit to the front. Pushing it and connect the lines to each other. Make sure you get out on the right spot. So there where you cut hair, already cut hair, you have to get out. In my case it's about uh, three centimeters from the contour and above the ears two centimeters. Coming to the center, there I just have to watch what the hair does. Travels it to the left, I push it to the right, and when it travels to the right, I push it to the left. Always setting up the hair straight out.
Now I like to cut without uh, my paint leaning on the end of the scissor. But when you want it ultra stable, you can lay the paint also on the end. What I also invented last time was when normally uh, people learn to cut, they have the scissor like this. In the front part between the fingertips. But I don't do that. I take them to there, I only put in my thumb and this makes my scissor a lot more stable. I show you the difference but because now I'm cutting what the way I do but normally you learn it like this and then you see the other part is much more unstable than it is when you put your fingers over the second part of your finger the top and this creates a lot easier cutting. Stay working the same line. You see my thumb is leaning on it when I get to this side because I can't watch what I'm doing there. But I still want to do it because I have to make a video for you so you can see what I'm doing and otherwise you would stand in front of it and you don't see anything of it. So I want you to have the possibility to learn from my videos and how I love to do hair. Because that I do always, even in the middle of the night. Going to the sides, connecting to the center line. And you see my comb is always leaning in the eyebrow line. I always stay working in her natural lines because I love the, to copy the lines. This gives wonderful hairstyles and customers that come back and come back and come back and never leave you. And when they leave you once because their eyes would want to trick it by another saloon or something else. They are always in the shame to come back, but they certainly will come back. Coming to the part where I started. Again, above the ear, I lay it to the back. Always pulling the hairs in the opposite lines. Connect them to the upper hair. Coming to the front, go in the opposite lines. Take the chin line as a guide. Because that's the opposite line of the arbor line. Make sure the lines are nice and soft, flowing, ultra feminine. Coming to the underline again, take the fine part of my comb. Work over the center, to the front and to the back to make sure I have cross control above the ear because there's a splitting. One part goes to the front, the other goes to the back. Now only the contour I do with a clipper and an ultra fine comb. Going to the side beard. Lay to the front, go over it once again. Pull the ear down. Get rid of the small hairs. Find me a control over the contour. Give some more slice techniques. Adapted to the dry hair again. 
So I can see it a little bit more and I get even a more jumpy effect on the front. For so far cutting with the scissor, now I need my little clipper. Coming back to the contour, take an ultra fine comb, take my smallest Kiona clipper. The nice thing about clippers of Kiona is that they don't hurry you up. And they always come with the clipper heads and they have also one to the tattoo art with. Just connecting the contour line to the hair of cutting. Lay nicely to the front, clean the line. Go through the running. Minor adjustments to the lines. The nice thing is when you're getting to the clipper, the air is almost dry. Then go into the controller, lifting the hair up. Connecting off the line of cutting. Go back to the center. Nice and nice clean contour line. And because the line is ultra soft being cut, we never get a hard contour line. Coming above the ear. Pull the ear down, set in the comb, once again, always put it from top down, travel over the center, here's the center, it's laying there, clean the contour. For so far cutting. Getting back to the hairstyle and put up some protection of David Bray. Step a little bit farther away, just a small amount because with cutting it gets out of the hair. Starting blow drying the hair with a medium brush. Starting on the back. And just gently dry the hair. Creating some volume on the back. I love to get the roundings of the skull. So I need some volume on top. Just to make sure I have a nice hairstyle. From the center, I go to the other side. Analyze the hair with my fingers. Also massaging the head a little bit so the hair will be looser a bit. And so far blow drying. Style it uh, at the end. I use of uh, Goldwell. I use of <laughs> Goldwell the crystal turn. <laughs> This is the amount I take, about uh, wow, a drop. It's applied between the fingers, go in and lay the hairs in the style of cutting. Give it that jumpy effect that I love to have. 
is the start of getting to the roundings of the skull. Just laying all the hairs in the line of cutting. By using my fingers as a comb, show you that. Get in with my fingers, the product is between it. My support lines are laying in the between of my hands and in the center of course. And the wonderful thing about this product is it gives also a wonderful glow to the hair. Take away my neck paper, use a little bit of hairspray, not too much because I like the way the hair can move freely when the wind's going through it. This is Hattie's new short hairstyle, ultra feminine, a natural color. Thank you. You're more than welcome. Wind you dry. Hattie, will you turn around to show the world your new hairstyle? Yes. Bring a windje dry. Take on the schoentjes. En dank je wel voor het model zijn. Thank you, Theo. Het is very nice. <laughs> yeah.